As we arrived at the home that we were going to be investigating, we noticed a dead deer out front. It had been struck by a car and gravely injured. The sheriff had to come out, shoot it, and take it away. Needless to say, this was a strange way to start our investigation of Fiddletown, California. We're here in Fiddletown, California at the McCreary residence. The family's been experiencing a lot of activity in the home and we're here to get them some answers. So this is Sarah. Um, she is one of the homeowners here and uh, Sarah, why don't you tell us a little bit about your home? Yeah, well, it was built in 1932. Uh, it's not the original house on the property. So, um, so how long have you been living in the home? About three years. About three years? Okay. And then uh, when did you start um, experiencing things here? Right away. Right away. Okay. Right away. What was the first life? thing you can remember experiencing here? Um, loud bangs. Um, Cheyenne's first uh, party she had here for her birthday with the sunscreen flying across and hitting oh, the refrigerator. Okay. The glass flying off and breaking. Was that the same day? Uh, no, that was a couple months later. Okay. Uh, this was all in the beginning of moving here. Okay, and then the glass was right here on the counter? Yes, I usually have a drying rack right there and mm -hmm. it came out of the basket and over and broke. Oh, wow. And then it landed like all the way on this side yeah. of the kitchen? Yeah. Okay. So wow. It did. And same with the sunscreen. As soon as I started talking about them to my uh, sister-in-law, it went flung right between us. We were facing each other and flung over. Can you tell me a little bit about the man you saw on the couch? Um, I woke up from just randomly and looked over and there was a man with his legs crossed and sitting like this on my couch. And he looked like my father. Um, but my father's alive. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about um, this little girl that you have this connection with that you were well, talking about? Um, Pat and I went exploring just for the heck of it, and we stumbled upon a hidden graveyard we didn't know about up the road, and I just felt compelled to go straight to Margaret's grave. She was, she died in 1901, she was five, and I just feel like I need to go there quite often. Okay. And uh, she's talked to me through the spirit box, and she said stuff through the camera when I brought it home, and you know, I hear her. Um, she asked me to bring her a doll, and she's had a doll for about a year now, a year and a half. Right. Um, that doll's disappeared and come back a few times, but... <laughs> Do you have the doll now? It should be still at the graveyard. Oh, is that the... Place. Okay. It might be gone. Um, okay. I don't know. I hope it's there. Yeah. So you, you brought it to her and left it there? Mm hmm Okay. And then she follows you home sometimes? She's been here. Um, she sings in Cheyenne's room, uh, lullabies, and moves things around in there. And uh, She told Bailey she had red hair. Okay. Because uh, Bailey has red hair. Okay. And you were saying that there's um, a lot about the town to explore. There is. Very cool. And would you mind taking us around the show sure. the town a little bit? Yeah. All right, let's go. So we're here at the schoolhouse in Fiddletown. And as you can see, it is an older schoolhouse. Um, it was rebuilt in 1862. The original one did burn down. And as in most older towns like this, there is a cemetery across the street. The cemetery here in Columbia, uh, directly next to the schoolhouse where we just were. Okay. It's going crazy. It never spits out this much stuff. No. Something's messing with it. Greater. Soldiers. All right. We're going to... Soldier this section? And you say that you're, you're taking food. It says fiddle. Oh, wow. It says fiddle. Or My bug. fiddle. It says fiddle. And we are in Fiddletown. At the cemetery. At the cemetery. This thing is going crazy. Okay, so well, video. Yeah. So loving. Good. So while Chris is using the Oculus, I am going around just taking just simple full spectrum stills. We'll see if we get anything. Tell me, what do you see? Can you see? Can you hear me? Highway. We're on the main highway. 
We are on the main highway. Mm -hmm. So you saw us come here. Anybody here surrounding us, um, so that way. So in Fiddletown, there's two cemeteries. Uh, the one we were just at is by the schoolhouse. This one is a little bit lesser known. Uh, Sarah's brought us here because this is where Margareta rests. This is so the, it's such a different energy in this one than it is in the last one. Yeah, definitely. This one feels much more peaceful, softer, calmer, and lighter. Yeah, I would yeah. agree. You do? Mm -hmm. right. Is that the doll? Where? Yes, why is it there? What the heck? Up, I want to know what it says on the headstone that it's standing next to, if you don't mind. Don't move it. Go up there. Let's go look at it. Yeah, don't move it. We're going to film it. I got zoom on it right now. Somebody tied it to it? Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be at Margareta's. You think kids? It could have been. It is really weird, it's though. It's just creepy as hell, though. Yeah. I'll have that doll's moved around and come back and, yeah. <laughs> Is there somebody here with us? Is there somebody here with us? Did you follow Sarah home? Did you follow Sarah home? She speaks to you guys? To be happy? Oh, I thought it was... To be happy? Oh, I Did you say Sarah? I heard Sarah. You said Sarah's name. That's great. Have you tried to leave? Is there a place in here you would like us to go? Can you tell me what's sitting on this gravestone? things that happened to you here? Um, I remember one time we were sitting in the room investigating. It said my dad pointed to me and said what colors were hair and on the recorder or spirit box it said red Oh. in a children child voice. Okay. Uh, Sarah was telling me that you really don't feel comfortable like sleeping in that room no. or anything. Okay. So uh, it's just I get my hair messed with, I hear voices sometimes. and. So where do you sleep at? Usually sleep on the couch. So you'd rather sleep on the couch than in that room, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't blame you. I probably would do the same thing. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, 
<laughs> Somebody else wants the spotlight over here. Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Um, was there anything you want to add to your interview? Um, I think the most recent thing that's happened in the house was I was standing right here, and it was at night, and I was doing something, and I look up, and on that window, I see a white flash go oh, wow. across. And I don't think it was a reflection, because it didn't seem that much, and I just had a weird feeling and got goosebumps. And mm -hmm. well, yeah, so you felt it and you saw it at the same time? Yeah. With nightfall soon approaching, our psychics Christy and Ellie arrived at the location. Wow, dude. This is heavy. <laughs> and it's bad. Yeah, it's not good. And it messes with the kids. It's old. It's been here for a long time. I don't know. It There's something up with the kids. You know, um, and I don't know who used to live here or something, but it just feels like, uh, my first initial feeling is that it was, uh, it was summoned. Like somebody yeah, asked, somebody asked witchcraft. it to come That's here. What I'm witchcraft. Yeah. Yes. Witchcraft. Definitely. Yeah. Witchcraft. Elaborate a little bit more. Um, whatever is here, yeah, was summoned here and it's, it's stuck here because it was brought here and it was brought here on purpose and it's, and it's angry. It's pissed. It's strong. And it's mean. Yeah. What was interesting about this is earlier, Sarah had mentioned one of her family members was a practicing Wiccan and is now Druid. Could this be the witchcraft they are picking up on? Has anybody been, has anybody been scratched at all or any kind of, um, like I, I feel like I feel like it's able to do like physical damage to people. I think there are other spirits here. Like an older woman. But they're trapped here because of that thing. That thing is keeping them here. They're not here because they want to be here. I I don't feel like this is the original house. Um, I feel like maybe parts of the original house were used to build this one. But, um, or that it was built directly on top or it was remodeled or something. Um, but I just don't feel like this is original, but I feel like there are people that there has been a house here for a long time. I think it was remodeled. Remodeled. I think you're right on yeah. that. I think it was remodeled. It's just, this feels redone to me. It doesn't feel like, like, I feel like that, like this place is old, like the, but I feel like as far as like the actual structure, it feels like it's been redone. But it was redone a very long time ago. Yeah. A very long time ago. But something happened. Sarah, why don't you tell us a little bit about your home? Yeah, well, it was built in 1932. Uh, it's not the original house on the property. Yeah, how do you feel? I don't mind it, as long as it's not threatening or... Do you feel threatened? No. no. I just feel nervous with it. Do you feel safe? Yeah. Yeah. Messes when you sleep, huh? Yeah. Both of you guys, but you primarily, correct? Yeah, sometimes. So, uh, it's just, I get my hair messed with, I hear voices sometimes, and... Okay, so first off, what we're going to be using is the EVP analyzer. This is uh, advanced paranormal software that um, basically you can use to do EVP sessions. It um, records through this microphone that we got hooked up, goes into the computer, and comes out through this speaker. Now you can add white noise to it and an echo, which gives it an echo vox type effect. I'm just here to collect stories. Can you tell us what your name is? Can you tell us what town we're in? Yeah, I did hear something. And I heard it. I heard it. I know I heard it. 
Thank you so much, so much. What color was your hair? Oh my god. What the hell was that? That is the provoking that. It's funny the, the question that it asked though. Huh? <laughs> Here. You see all the toys? Do you play with the toys? Who's in here? Who's in here? I'm in here. What is your name? Chrissy's got scratched. Huh? Chrissy got scratched. Do you know who just touched Christy? Closer to pizza, you guys both on camera. Oh, Oh, Sarah does? Clear. I told you guys, but you guys were. I thought it was Christy. No. Well, no, no, it's Sarah. Let's go check on her. Like, there's three significant <laughs> marks on her neck. Okay. And they were, they appeared. Yeah. She said, they were, we got there, they were a lot darker. While doing a spirit box session in the bedroom, Sarah and then Christy both received three scratch marks on their neck. What is interesting about this is we received communication through the spirit box about these scratches at the same time that they are happening. <laughs> check her with the flashlight, Chrissy. You should check because usually, if you feel burning and stuff, sometimes it's scratches occurring. Yep, she does. She just got scratched. Yeah, she's got three scratches. She's got three significant scratches. They're literally appearing right now. Yeah. Get, the cam get the camera on it. You can't see it on the IR. Alright, you need to look at my back. Hey, Keith. Keith. Hey. Oh, no. She just got three scratches right now on the back of her neck. Like, what? She just got scratched three claw marks on the back of her neck. Um, was she on camera the whole time? Yeah, I, I was watching the whole time. Remember she said it and then I said it? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Chrissy's got him too. There we go. Now I got it on camera. Uh, I'm trying to play it. And then my thing broke overnight. Completely and I've been... So yeah, she's a... Dang, dude. Do you want to do, take more video of mine or no? Let me see him. Yeah, bring it back over here. You're starting to almost so, welt right I've there. I've actually had more today than I've had in the past couple months. You only have two. Oh no, I think there's three. They're just close together right there. One, two, three. Yeah. Has anybody been has anybody been scratched at all or any kind of um like I, I feel like I feel like it's able to do like physical damage. Why is it just move the table over there? No, I it's in the bedroom, isn't it? The cake is the red pot in here? Yeah, the red pot's in there. Oh, Oh wait, it's the cat, I think. Aww. Yeah, it was the cat. Oh my gosh, I was like, because I couldn't see the cat. And then I wasn't looking at my camera, so I was like, what the heck. You are so funny, Lucy. Where are we right now? Where are we right now? Where are we right now? Chrissy. Tap the cat. Ah! That was not playing. Sorry, I'll hold this. Um, did you? Where are we? 
anywhere. Okay. When did you leave here? When did you leave here? No. When did you leave here? No. Say one, one of our names. Do you want to leave here? 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 Can you see me? Can you see me? What color is Bailey's hair? What color is Bailey's hair? What color is Bailey's hair? Orange? Orange? Did you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> so let's do a little bit of fun stuff here. Um, so can you tell me what, what, what kind of animals live here? Can you name an animal that lives here? Can you name an animal that lives here? What died today out front? What died today out front? What died today out front? Bambi. What happened to it? What happened to it? Can you tell me what is on the grave? Can you tell me what is on the grave? Is Margarita right now? Is Margarita right now? Is Margarita right now? Is Margarita right now? After returning home from the investigation, Krista finds unexplained scratch marks on her back. Could this be from the same entity that scratched both Sarah and Christy? Thank <laughs> you.